I'm getting past life healer's wife is what I'm getting. And this is what's coming through. Past life and a healer's wife. It's like you had your own establishment. We've got the innkeeper. We've got other here. And this is like an establishment coming through. I'm not sure what this is, but it feels like... Um, Somebody that would be akin to a doctor is who you were married to in this past life. You you worked together well as a team. There was a lot of faith and trust. You had plenty of money going on. Finances weren't a challenge. They actually were quite in abundance. And there was something about the way that people would follow the advice of your, your spouse in this that it was almost like... Um, this is coming up evangelical religious, but I'm, what I'm getting is they were very devoted. If they said, go see Dr. So-and-so, which he wasn't a doctor, but go see the healer so-and-so, they'd go and they'd do what it was. If, if if at the time they said, yeah, you know, slap some mud all over that bee sting and blah, 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 you need to, your dude knew his shit. There was huge, huge good stuff going on in the love life. This is something that you guys would work together, you would do together, you both understood what was going on. He would listen to you in a way that most um, men of the time would not listen to you, women in that time frame. It feels like in this past life you were um, the woman in the duo and that you both worked together to set up some kind of, uh, makes me think Watkins, like Watkins, it, it's very Watkins energy. Yeah. You guys were very, very much about giving and helping and serving the community. People would approach you all the time, over and over and over. It did set you up very, very well. People would approach you from near, far, everywhere. You understood something about um, fresh water and the properties of water and the ability that water could carry things that were good and bad both in it. So you guys were very clear. It's like you guys had a way of doing things that would be ahead of its time as far as your practice of, like... Um, in modern medicine, you would keep things sterile. You would People didn't always know to boil water and sterilize shit, but you would have known, and you would have had the instinct to do certain things in that way. You would have had the illumination on how to use the knowledge. And not always was it well received by the whole community, but you would have the knowledge and you put it into your practice with your spouse, and it was really quite good. You were paid well for this. You guys had this establishment, had this place where people would come. It's like um, you wouldn't have had the husband shingle out as a doctor. You would have had like some sort of inn or place where people could stay the night, like bed and breakfast or a, a public house or something like that, where people would come, they would stay the night, but you knew the healing recipes and they would come to the public house because they knew the doctor was in the house, basically. They knew that the pub keeper, the husband keeper of this house had the goods. It, it was a centralized location that people would come so your pub wasn't huge, your bed and breakfast, call it what you will. It feels like there was like at least three extra rooms that you had for people to come to stay. They would come to stay with you and you had some side hustle on that. You had healer's money coming in. And for the most part, the healer's money was what kept the pub going and not the reverse. Although you guys didn't make a big hoopla about it. Because if you made a big hoopla about it, the powers that be would rain down. Because... Um, they, they wanted to tax things. I think that perhaps the, the medicinal thing was a little bit of side hustle and people knew to play it, play it down a little bit because the um, the tax man would come. like It's like fireplace tax and shit like that. That kind of thing that is just goofy. The medicine man and his wife definitely knew how to travel different waters, knew how to travel to different areas, get different grasses, get different things that would help bring the resources in. You were stuck in this place by whatever reason, this this um, home, the, the building, the innkeep thing, this, this was more consistent and more reliable um, externally. And it was the way to approach it, and you both knew it was the way to approach it, but you were stuck there. Sometimes you wanted to travel a little bit more. I'm sure there would be times that you would have liked to have done things a little bit differently, but you chose to honor the path that was just and fair for the group. Very, very interesting. It's why people were so devoted. I think they, a lot of people knew you could be putting your finances into something bigger, 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 but you were more, um, the word is noble, although you weren't nobility, but you chose a more noble, altruistic type of path. Always. You had, you had two really good options, two really good, powerful truths that you could carry forward 
and do things in the community from a level that not always is everything seen. I mean, not everybody that is in the place of the power sees the good deeds that are being done. Not everybody gets this huge, huge fame and reward for doing the good things, but it's what you consistently did. And the universe extended a reward because you guys, I don't think you went hungry ever. I think you had enough, and I think you were, had, um, others would have considered it plenty and been greedy and been hoarders and not shared and not went and got extra things of different kind of medicinal things, different kind of herbs, different kind of spices, different kind of things that were healing things. They would have just had more money, more money, and maybe put on fancy dresses and gone to, you know, go and press the Joneses or whatever. Keeping up with the Joneses wasn't your game at all. It was never your game. It's never how you were wired. It's not how your spouse was wired. Do we know anything about earlier how you met your spouse or anything about your children? Anything like this. Why did you have the big empty house? Did you have children? I don't think you did have children. I don't think you wanted a bunch of children. Did you have one? I'm getting you running from running from the motherhood, 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 motherhood. You didn't want to do what your parents had done. But having the power, the heart, the authority, the place and space for it. So who's this boy? Because this comes through as a child, but I don't think you had children. So who is this boy? Ah. Oh. This is somebody that wasn't exactly your child, like not by birth or anything such of a thing. But this is somebody that came into your world and this is somebody that probably would have come in at 13 or 14 when, when this child was 13 or 14. So it's like when somebody adopts a teenage kid or something like that. This is somebody that you helped. This was a good thing that you did. This was very good that you did. So you sort of had a kid. It's like you would have had a nephew or something that wasn't by blood nephew, but you're taking this on. You're taking this person on and helping them, nevertheless. And it looks like they are helpful to, the, the boy is helpful to your spouse in doing what needs to be done, but he's young and he needs to learn things. But you did not want to have extra responsibility of extra kids, and nor did that happen easily for you. So I think that you preferred to be more like auntie than mom, 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 mom. She said, do you have a name as I... Give me just a second. Just, I'm sorry, just give me a second. I know you want a name, give me a second. I, I'll, I'll get back to that track. Finish your question. My brain is split in two places. What? What was the question? Do you have a name as I have a small boy about that age as a spirit guide? Your spirit guide can be named anything you want to assign the name if you don't know the name of your spirit guide, folks. But what keeps coming in doesn't make sense to me. But... Um, I'm, I'm getting like a um, something that is like a a, a, a Brad, a Bradley, a, 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 a Brandon, Braden, Brad, Brad, something, B name like that. I, I don't know what that's about. The reason it doesn't make sense to me, the reason that it's confounding to me, I'm looking at this and it's like, I don't know how old the name Brad is. Brad seems like a modern name, but you seem like in a different time. In modern times, I, I'd tell you, yeah, he's Brad or Brandon or... Brady, that kind of thing, but that, that's what I'm getting. It, that could have been his, um, more the name of his house, but that's what I'm getting. I don't, I don't know. I don't know that that helps any. There's something about the way he carries the light, the way he carries the light, and also a balancing thing that needs to be done. An aspect of a thing that goes across, it straps things down. I'm getting, I'm getting aspect of a thing that straps things down like a brad like a brad clip like straps things down I don't, I don't know what that is about i'm getting both of those things i don't know what that's about okay let's see what else we got hang on
he wasn't just a lost boy. He's a he wasn't just a lost boy. He was um a, the bastard child. He was the illegitimate child of somebody that was at a distance. And you know, back in the days, they had quite a few that were not recognized kids, legitimate kids. But it seems like he was set pretty good. And then something happened. It must have been that the illegitimate mother or whatever had some scenario where she couldn't maintain it anymore. And I don't even know that he would know his, his paternity. This was something that was meant to bring you glow, meant to bring you joy. It was meant to open your heart and let your heart be opened in a way that was a more mothering way, but not going to be overload, overload, overload the responsibility. It was rightly timed. It was something that was meant to be there for about a decade of time where there was this vulnerable thing of this decade time. Um, this is something that brought joy and delight to you. Something that really made you quite happy in what you were doing. I don't think you and your husband had kids of your own, but I think this one became like your kid and it was actually quite a good fit, a good situation. Anything else? It was a fabulous situation. It was a completion of a certain cycle and a closure of a certain cycle. And it was in such a way that um, motherhood feeling like a huge pain in the ass, pain in the butt back then is something you didn't have to overdo, 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 but you would be willing to do go going forward. Because the responsibilities and the way that you met the responsibility there was so great feels like in your childhood you might have been overloaded with responsibility but that's why as a young adult or young woman you didn't want to have many of your own it wasn't it wasn't meant to be that way you guys served a bigger community you and your spouse served a bigger community at large as a pair and because you served as a pair so well and because you weren't like all in this selfish selfish greedy greedy mode it, it opens your heart in such a way that should you go on to the next life and I don't know how many lives have it happened between now and then I don't know but it feels like it prepared the way that if you wanted to do the motherhood thing it would be less of a pain for you to do it less painful to do as far as responsibility day in day out daily grind it's like you paid your dues in a different way ahead of time yeah yeah you you get this ability to move forward the ability to move forward and the ability to call forward things in a way that are different the ability to see things um a connection to sacred geometry is coming through here. A connection as, as to how you get information to be more grounded. It really, really op opened up a skill set that you would need to have. This feels like there's carryover on this now. You come through also as somebody that's very pragmatic and logical. So the spiritual thing is sometimes a little bit difficult for you. And it's sometimes something that it won't make sense to you. But it's something that is going to be part of the thing, part of the lesson, part of the sciences come through. Maybe that's part of the healing energy that's came through now. But this is like, it, it's um, a legacy type of thing, a legacy type of gift. Anything else? And just the fight for the valiant fight is coming through. The way you honor truth, the way you want to carry truth forward. Trust what your spirit guides are bringing you forward. You're going to have this inner knowing, this way of knowing that's a really good thing. And you're still going to be somebody that deals with bridging things, bridging gaps in society and in community. But the the motherhood was felt like it was something that you decided to close off early in this past life. And it doesn't feel like it's closed in the current life. There could be bleed over in that right now. The higher self, the higher truth is coming forward and things are opening up, opening up. Solar chakra energy needs to be honored and it was something that you knew to individuate and honor in through here. Mm -hmm. You knew how to do this. Let's go back here for just one more minute. The way you carry truth and justice and karma really comes through strongly for you. In, in a good way. So much good. You bring balance, balance, balance. Something that comes full circle, a portal, a death and ending, a transformation. This is something about the way things ended back then. Prom 
promise made that you would meet on another side. Uh, there's a promise made between you and this partner of yours, the spouse you had. There's something where you the connection is strong and you would meet on the other side. It was like something that was a totally true fit, good fit, emotionally good fit. You did the full circle task there that needed to be done for that time. You'll do another full circle task as a team again. I don't know where and when, but that's what's coming through. That's complete. Holy shit. That's what I got.